Okay, this time we're going with Droplet and Curse of Krevnik, because at this point, we are running into the situation where things are getting hard enough to a point where I actually need to min-max the start, and I, as much as I was espousing the benefits of Chaos Bolt, we do actually maybe want to use Droplet more. With the problem with Chaos Bolt is it has such a fast global cooldown that, or such a fast cast speed that anything with a higher global cooldown will actually mess with it pretty solidly. It also has terrible single target accuracy. And at this point, if you can't kill a single target, you run into some serious issues. So I'm crossing my fingers that we'll do better this time around. I mean, realistically, the Shrine of Destiny that early on was really, really bad luck, especially with what we had. I probably should have gone with Supernova as a spell, but at the same time, I really like that, uh, that like super spam spell. It's really, really awesome. I have not gotten hit yet. I am thoroughly impressed. I do have to say we're missing a lot more than I'd like, and that's because I'm prioritizing dodging over accuracy, and I'm just trying to f shoot into the group, but unfortunately the group moves too, and I also have much shorter range than them. That fire spell is actually seeming kind of attractive. Oh, yeah, moving, moving with the uh, mind blasts of the moving brain is actually maybe a bad idea. Oh well, at the very least we've got a couple of health pickups that we've got going for us. Okay, we get a shock rune. So yeah, we got a couple of health pickups that we can pick up, which is nice. Ow, ooh, that's got some kick to it. Good to know. I'm trying to lead him, but it's a little bit harder to lead with a controller, I'm noticing. <laughs> I've never been much of a console gamer, admittedly. I have the Nintendo. That's about it. Hey, if we get a fire rune, we could actually get our hands on that spam spell so early on. Unfortunately, the cooldown is pretty freaking long, but maybe if I'm lucky, I can actually get it reduced. Especially if I get my hands on mindlessness and stuff. Now, one of the things that was suggested to me was that mindlessness may not actually accrue the maximums, uh, the, like, the upper thresholds of... Oh, hey. Another shock rune. Awesome. Uh, so it might not actually uh, count towards the cap. So you might actually be able to go above the cap with mindlessness, but actually, in retrospect, thinking back to how the uh, Mystic's ability works, I think that's actually not true. No, I, I think mindlessness is still restrained by the caps on all the rune levels, because the Mystic one specifically says it can go above your maximum rune levels, because it's plus 15 and can go above, you know, maximum of 10 or whatever. Because, yeah, so I, I think... I'm just going to continue with the assumption that mindlessness actually does that. Okay. So, jeez. Bad situation. Let's see if I can kill the hermit before... Nope. He has too much health, and the earth mage is punishing me for standing still. That's one thing. You can't stand still against earth mages, but we've taken out the hermit, so this is going to be a lot easier. Jeez. This is a lot easier. So... I am really disappointed this isn't still the last run. The last run had a lot of things going for it. It's just Shrine of Destiny, plus, you know, zero health pickups up until the very end. Seriously. Uh, well, it did make things kind of harder. Also, Droplet really did mess with Chaos Bolt. Oh, well, let's just wreck through things. We've got at least a couple of health pickups here, and I'm, I'm avoiding picking them up generally, even though, yes, we're a little injured, because currently we don't need it. Uh-oh. This is a crappy room. I'm essentially going to have to corner myself because I can't go back down into that. Oh, now I can. There are just too many of them there, but they've since spread out in an attempt to get to me. And this way I can just use the rotational method of murdering them. Just got to avoid a couple of fire mage shots. Weirdly enough, I feel like I'm actually dodging better than I normally do today. I'm okay with this. So just a couple of fire mages, no big deal. Please give me a fire rune be very appreciated. Looks like there's one of them that's pretty injured. Unfortunately, he's the one in the back. He's the one over here. He's dead now. He's dead, Jim. Okay. There we go. And last one. <laughs> I. So one of the things I notice is that after getting a uh, solid beatdown from, you know, a previous run, I do attempt to, as hard as I can to actually do better on the next run. So on this one, I'm taking all of the basic enemies super seriously, even though I probably don't need to as much as I do. 
Especially with the health pickups. It's just currently we only have one spell. And I'd very much like to... Oh, that was awful. The one, the one problem is Droplet has pretty substantial knockback. And I'd very much prefer to not actually... Uh, well, <laughs> I guess the problem is the knockback is based on how the spell hits the enemies. And sometimes that can actually be... Oh, apparently that had a health pickup on it. Uh, sometimes that can actually end up pushing you... Uh, pushing the enemies into you, which frustrates me more than a little bit. It's part of the reason why I've actually stopped using Pressure Blast. Apart from the fact that Pressure Blast actually doesn't have crazy strike through damage too. Because if it did, then it would be one of the best, uh, best spells in my arsenal. I could totally deal with it. But the problem is it actually just goes a set distance and then explodes. By way of the fact of like how the spell works. If it works like Droplet++ plus plus or Droplet with Strike Through, I'd be really happy. But the situation is hit list. I'm gonna try it. The problem is... Oh, it's only a couple of enemies. Ow. Freaking... Breakables. I'm being a little bit risky here. Nope. Gotta aim for... Okay. The problem is, since we have auto cast on, I have to make sure I don't kill the other... <laughs> yeah, actually, what I'm going to do... Rune Dex... Uh, hopefully I've got a good long distance single target spell discovered. So, Chain Lightning, Light Nova, Rain, Beacon, Particle Spray, Rip Current, Biting Echoes, Divergent, Catalyst. Oh, that was a nice one. Shocker, Geocurse, Trickle Tubs. The problem is we're very likely going to fail this one purely because of the splash damage. And yes, I could try something uh, largely not Chain Lightning. Double Lightning would probably be the best one. Actually, Chain Lightning's pretty good. Eh, the cooldown's a little crap, though. And I think the range is also only medium. It's 12 meters, whereas Double Lightning's is 7. So it's just a little bit, bit above double. Uh, but we, we can't make a lot of things. Because what, what we need this entire run is essentially large amounts of range. None of these are going to be good for it. So, I, I guess what I need to do is get one burrower away from the other one. That's, and away from that. At least there's no time limit here, apart from my own health. Gotta just be careful. Uh balls. Okay. No, no, stop, autocast. Stop. Jesus. Got it. Got it. Who's the... What the... Oh, the power shrine. That's weird. I forget that they're actually enemies a lot of the time. Keep going around. Yeah, because if I hit that shock mage once, we lose. And I... At this point, I've gone... Far enough that it would suck to fail. Okay. Come on, I'm trying to not hit the shock mage, but <laughs> he's lining up so the burrower... Perfect. Okay. That was way harder than it should have been. <sighs> These all suck. Now, I could go with crit damage, or crit defense, but honestly, neither of these are particularly enticing to me. I'm going to go with the shock rune, and we get toughen. Tempting. Class specialization. Yep, definitely tempting. It's essentially a very effective nuke. And now we got three shock runes. We don't have a whole lot of combiners, but we got three shock runes, which potentially means that we can make some interesting new spells, because I think I kind of mentioned this the last set of runs. Uh, I, I say set of runs now because some of these do involve, you know, doing over on the same day. And so, the thing is, I'm, I'm trying to think of how I want to deal with uh, deal with shock runes. Because I love using shock spells. In fact, generally all of my favorite spells are shock related in this game. And what I'm probably going to just end up doing is... Uh, this is not that bad of a room. It's got a couple of impediments, which is the concern. Also, the speed mages make it pretty freaking hard to kite around, because they shoot 
uh, their bullets fly faster, then I can dodge. So, I mean, I could just try and tank things, but that seems like a terrible idea. But anyway, what I'm trying to do is actually wean myself off of a lot of shock spells, if I can. I'm going to try and use that one salvo spell that I have... Uh, that I discovered and keep trying to use fully, but, you know, end up, end up with issues. But that one is probably going to be one of my top uses for a while. The long cooldown is extremely disappointing, but at the same time, the effects are awesome. But apart from that, I'm actually trying to avoid using a lot of shock spells, purely because I would very much like to learn as many of the shock spells as possible before, I mean, before whatever. Really, just, I prefer to learn all the shock, and shock, entropy, and fire tend to have my favorites. Light, too, kind of, sort of. Light, light's a little bit more situational, but... If I can learn all of those first and foremost, let's see if I can just shoot the ball. I guess it kind of works. Yeah, here we go. But learning all of those would probably be a very good idea. Now, in retrospect, we did actually have one spell that I poo-pooed initially, but in retrospect, discovered, involved water. It was called Rip Current? No, not Rip Current. Not Biting... Oh, we can make Biting Echoes. It involves... Shock. Here we go. Divergent Catalyst. Problem is Divergent Catalyst doesn't do that much damage. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. What's the range on Divergent Catalyst? It doesn't say. I'm gonna try it. Just because I didn't really get to... Nope, that's not it. I didn't get to showcase it very well the last time I used it. And the cool thing about it is, if you put a bunch of light runes into it, you can get the catalyze time up, so it gives you more of a leeway for all of the parts to explode, I believe. What's the cooldown on it? Three quarters of a second. That's not bad. Uh, ideally, I would prefer to have that as a, as one of the like bumper spells above one of my autocast ones, but it's still not a bad spell. So I'm just going to turn it on, and we'll see what happens. Because the thing is... At the very least, it's a very it's a very effective at taking out large groups of enemies, and it seems to have a fairly solid amount of range. It's kind of like um, Chaos Bolt. At, wow, it actually does have a very good amount of range. It, the problem is, there we go. Uh, getting it getting it to explode is pretty solid. So as long as it does, you pretty much are able to. Oh, okay. That's interesting. Well, either way, it's probably going to stay on my build for quite a while. It's very good for clearing out groups of enemies. It's essentially like a shotgun blast, but it has solid, solid range. So that's that's that. Hopefully we get the Dark Rune, because I really, really want to get that, what, Transposal type spell, because that one seems pretty fun. Now, fire levels, speed levels. Um... I am using neither. I have... Oh, hey, Dark Rune. <laughs> I'm using neither. I have neither. And I'd very much like to learn... Uh, or not learn. I would very much like to make that spell. Can I? Rune Dex. It might involve an Air Rune. It's Dark Speed. Uh, not Void Beast. Shadow Gate? Nope. Dark Scythe? Nope. Dark Calling? Ah, it's... Dang it. It's called Dark Calling. It requires a Light Rune. If you don't remember, I accidentally used one. Oh, right. Dark Rift is really solid. I'm going to have to remember that one. Uh, might actually... Well, I can't make it right now. But if I get enough Dark and Speed runes, I might actually consider it for this build. It's pretty good. Now, the thing is, the Spread Shot Water spell we got, it doesn't do the greatest of damage, but I believe the Explosion is actually a completely separate effect. And that's good. So, we don't have any mind runes, we don't have any mindlessness, but it'll have to do. That's a lot of rats. But if you notice, it's pretty much perfect for taking on large groups of enemies, especially early on as you go into a room. It's it's no supernova, but it does the trick. So, yeah, I, I definitely have to say, if we can get that light rune, we'll be in a really good position. Because I'll probably replace Droplet with it, and... May or, I don't know, put something on the shoulder. I'll figure it out. But this way we've got very good, you know, enemy clearing ability. It gives us a very nice shotgun blast. It's very easy to miss. Holy crap, novice entropy mages, you can go suck. 
a dick. God damn it, they suck. Also, the dark spirits are kind of rough. At least we're getting a lot of health here. Or at least an amount. And there we go. Okay, so we can do second wind. Nope. Evasion. Nope. Uh, that's not a bad one. In fact, let's go with Wild Burst. Uh, more bullets, always a good thing. Let's bust all this stuff up. Get over here. Yeah. So, we've got we've got our enemy clearing abilities. I'm just going to grab one, not two. So we might need the next one, and I, as much as going full health would be nice, I prefer to... Now, I'm not entirely sure how the explosions work. It may require some amount of testing. That's a lot of imps. Okay, well, we've taken a lot of damage. You know how I was talking about needing that health? I'm going to need that health. Hey, there's some air. That's convenient. Ah, but there's also there's also a health. So we can at least go back for that. But the problem is these earth mages, A, they seem to be avoiding every single bloody shot I throw at them. There we go. They die. We get more entropy. I could actually make Prismatic Devil. It's tempting. Not only is it tempting, it's going to happen. Because the thing is, Prismatic Devil is a very solid spell. And, well, it's not necessarily the most important thing there. It would really help across the board. Yeah. Okay. So this way we get Prismatic Devil, Divergent Catalyst, and then if I can get that Light Rune, that gives us our long range spell. And then it'll just be buffs from there. So, we got... Let's just slow them down. Let the explosions take care of everything. Oh, right. I actually have to bumper for it. Whatever. Not a big deal. And, yeah. Love those explosions. Like Prismatic Devil. Because the thing is, I want to stay largely at a distance from most enemies. But Prismatic Devil gives buffs. Has great... Uh, really fantastic... The really fantastic ability of keeping pretty much everybody off of my back. And, yeah, no, this is a good combo. So, all we need is probably that light, the light room that I'm talking about. Yep, this is good. Because Droplet, it's got nice AoE, but at the same time, we need long range. This looks to be Escort. I'm going to come back for this one. Because as nice as potentially getting a trait to work on this room, honestly, if we could get the Doctor perk... I'd put us in a really solid position. But if I can't, oh well, not the end of the world. So I got Prismatic Devil, which actually makes it really easy for, to kind of juggernaut into enemies too, especially after they fire. So that's a good thing to remember. And there we go. Let's grab the air room. Things are looking up in Castle Wanderbot today. Now, chances of getting an explosion here, less than likely. It doesn't surprise me that much. Oh, it's got quite the knockback though. So it actually... Knocked back the Wind Hunter. Bam! Okay. Really enjoying the spell, actually. And we've got a bunch of Entropy Runes, so... I'm... I'm just gonna buff Prismatic Devil up. I, I know I'm trying to save runes, but at the same time, I'm actually just largely trying to save up Shock Runes. I'll probably save up all of my Entropy Runes from here. I don't know. I guess... I. Yeah, it does look like Bias actually has... A couple of effects beyond... Actually, I have no idea what Bias does. But it seems like it has something to do with cast speed, too. Hey, we get another heart. We don't want to pick it up immediately, though. But yeah, these exploding shots are really worthwhile. Okay. So I'm really hoping, trait-wise, that we get our hands on... Oh, I should probably come through here and bust up all the destructibles. There's a small chance some of these can actually... Ah, there we go. Fire rune. Sometimes, some of these can be destroyed, too, which is convenient. So, I believe... It's shock, Earth... There we go, current. So now we have pretty much the perfect salvo. All we need is a uh, light rune, and this build will be complete. Because now we've got... We've got super amazing group clearing ability. We've got a close range thing for biters... Bats and rats. Uh, swarmers and the such. We've got buffs from our close range ability. Grab that. The only problem is it does break easily. We've got some really nice long cooldown type spells. And uh, we've got some AoEs. All of which are appreciated. So. Let's just keep going. That's a lot of stuff. But 
yeah, between all of these, I'm pretty confident in how we're doing. We might still lose, but I at least feel much better about this situation. I have to say, I like the fact that that spell explodes when it hits everybody. It's a little bit arcane what the uh, conditions are. But apart from that, it's not the end of the world, so lots of health. And at this point, I'm going to say I'm confident enough to do this. So let's just... Let's just... Yep, that worked. I didn't even take any damage. Or, I mean, maybe I might have. <laughs> I don't know, but we win. Don't go through the door. Wait, can't. My thanks. Yay! Woo! That was awesome. Okay, precise movements. Trapper. Dying Wish. Latent Force. So... Latent Force is good. And damage is good. Okay, because... Knockback was tempting, but the thing with knockback for me was purely just, oh, freaking these guys again, and I do not have my class ability yet, I'm trying to kill the chaos mages, at, at least we've got an insane amount of health to pick up, so we got that going for us, where's that bandit, I'm trying to murder his face, there we go, ooh, he, he had quite this stuff, okay, so we've got, our inventory's full. Okay, what can I do? Uh, could put some shock in there. Get the duration high. Get the damage high. Mm, I'm gonna put one shock in. And then... A couple of fire in. Get that damage up. Because we got two more fire runes here. And I'm trying to keep one of everything. Just to make more spells. Uh, any of these use air? No, we've got water. So I'm gonna go with that. Because the thing is, whenever Divergent Catalyst pops... It crits, too, which is mad mad useful. And then we've got Droplet, which, yes, you can increase the AoE, but... Now, the one thing I will say is I could potentially look, uh, you know, go back and check the rune decks for another long-range type spell, but the there are only a couple of them, actually. And there are very few of them that I truly want to use right now. Wow, that's quite the speed boost from whatever we got. Probably should have used that to take out the shrine, but oh well. You can just hang out here for a second. Yep, then time to go. To get that bandit. Thank you. And imps. And now we could actually make mindlessness if I wanted to. Which is seriously concerning considering all the runes we're carrying around. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, call me uncreative, but at the same time, mindlessness is pretty much amazing. I'll just throw it in storage. Hopefully, we're not going to need that storage for anything. Otherwise, I can just hold on to uh, triple combiners for a little while. So we've completed the event room, we've completed all the other runes. We're full health. So, on to floor three. This is uh, better than the last time. So we could do earth levels, which would boost up... Uh, that would really just boost up current. Wouldn't boost up any of the other ones. So let's just go with max HP. Survivability is more important than a little bit of damage. And it actually does seem like boosting up our maximum HP has worked well in the past. And maybe gets us the doctor perk. Now, I do have to say, I really wish this game involved a, uh, involved a system, I, I guess, I kind of wish that the trait system was actually a little bit more open-ended, like you could actually intentionally build stuff as opposed to pick it at random, or had both, ah, oh, nuts, I did not want to do that. Oh, well, I uh, picked up the first heart on the floor, and I'm, there's no guarantee we're going to get many more than that, which is... Always a problem, and I completely wasted that spell. Oh, well, we get more fire runes, and at least we haven't taken too much damage here, which is very much appreciated. Wow, that's got quite the AoE on it. Bam! Okay, so... Excess energy, latent force, class specialization, or impromptu armor. Uh, I don't... Yeah, I'm gonna do this one. It's... Probably good. The other one that I probably would go for is class specialization. Oh, and my inventory is full again. So what we're going to do is keep buffing up current. Because if I can actually... I, I really, really, really want to have the duration and the cooldown match each other. Because if I can do that, then we'll be in kind of this amazing spot where we can just constantly be currenting enemies. Because it's a solid spell. It does a lot of damage in a very short period of time. Well, let's get through. And who are we fighting? A bunch of bats. A bunch of... Everybody, I'm actually going to debuff them for a second. And strafe them. Bam! No explosions, but it'll have to do. 
And let's quickly scoot behind this wall. Okay. Yeah, it's still no explosions, but even without the explosions, it's still a very solid spell. A lot of speed runes that I have no use for. Yeah, definitely need to get rid of... Definitely need to get rid of droplets soon. And at this point, let's see what I can make. Creatable spells, damage. I really wish you could pick ones with like longer range. So, discovered. Ow. And that puts us all the way at the top. So we got Traveler, which is long range but long cooldown. Black Wind, which longer cooldown, very long range, great for clearing out enemies. Pike Dance, Tranquil Twigs, Fusion, which is great, but at the same time, Fusion is best left for fusion-only builds. There's Red Lightning, which you can boost up the range, but the cooldown is kind of long, even though it looks like it's got a short cooldown there. It's uh, got a cooldown of two seconds, which, again, does kind of take it out of what we need, because it's nice for debuffs, and it's nice for taking on bosses, but we need is kind of multi-purpose stuff. Mega Pressure, Brittle Boulder, Shadow Vortex, Dark Scythe... Dark Scythe, what's the range on it? Doesn't actually say. But again, it's got a longish cooldown. Uh, Scarlet Salvo. Ooh, that is actually really tempting. The problem is it doesn't do much damage, and what we need is damage at a range, because we already have Prismatic Devils, so we don't need the other effect of it. Uh, prismatic Spray. Oh, right, this one. Oh, but it's got a really long cooldown, which is exactly what we don't need. We could make Striker, actually. But it really doesn't do much damage. It does have a very long cooldown, though, which is kind of nice. And we could actually make a second current. Because uh, here's the problem with Striker. You you need to pump Chakrins into it before it actually truly becomes useful. Which is a problem. I could pump a lot of Air Runes into it, though. Which would help with the uh, cooldown problem. But it'll also make it so I can't make any more anything else. Okay, so might have to get rid of... One of the shock runes. Yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of one of the shock runes. And I'm just going to keep pumping ent Entropy into Prismatic Devil. I have no other options. Otherwise, I'm going to run out of slots. And I need a triple stat. But this way, we have three speed, which pretty much means after... Well, depending on what boss we run into. And if it's if it's Blazia, then that puts us in a really good position. Because then, well, we can just uh, blitz past everything. And that'll be convenient. So... Man, this episode is taking a while, but I'm, I'm, yeah. Come on. I'm being careful here. And being careful means surviving. <laughs> there, are, there are rooms there where you just can't survive, though, or be careful either. Man, that is such a good spell. Okay. Let's just bust up these things and keep going. At least the floor seems generally pretty linear. Wish there were more health. Uh, wish there was more health, because all of the health... That dropped, dropped. So this is Rift Protector, which is tempting, but not yet. I'll mess with it later. That I might actually come back to that after the boss, because I'm really crossing my fingers here that we run into a light rune somewhere here. Like, what are the chances of not getting one this entire time? Actually, sizable enough, considering I didn't find any more speed rune, runes the last time I came through here. Let's just nuke these guys. We're getting many, many lightning runes. Many, many fire runes. It's like the game knows what I'm specifically trying to do here. I'm trying to take out that hell portal, and it's doing a very good job at preventing me from trying. At least we get more shock and more fire. So at the very least, I can keep buffing current, which is pretty awesome. Come on. There we go. And all that leaves is the fire mage, who I can joust a little little bit better. There we go. Beautiful. And we get a double combiner. Pretty soon we can make a triple. At this point, I'm just going to leave the runes on the floor. Help! Oh, hello! Surprise! That was not a good surprise. Not the kind of surprise that I like running into in, in a given day. Oh, well, at the very least, all of our explodey type spells do a very good job at murdering everything. Burwars do a lot of damage on intermediate. No hearts. No hearts whatsoever. Very surprised about that fact, actually. I'm just gonna hope those destroy some things. Mud Golems kinda hurt. Oh my god, Mud Golems really hurt. Watch me just die before the boss again. It is entirely possible. Especially because this game is giving me so many runes. No health, though. Oh, there's one. 
Uh, I really need Doctor, though. Because without Doctor, we are going to be fairly injured for this entire thing. Okay. Well, let's just keep go Oh, that's a lot of swarmers and bats and slimes and stuff. At the very least, we're actually uniquely suited for taking out large groups of enemies. Or at least, we are more suited than a lot of my other runs. Okay, please give me some health. Please health? Please health. No health! Nuts. Oh well, e even though I'm kind of begging for it, we aren't actually very low on health, which is very much appreciated. So let's... let's buff current. Buff current more. I'm surprised we're not getting more earth runes, because earth runes to me are more preferable than uh, fire and shock right now, because if I could get the cooldown lower, that'd be better. Oh well. Uh, we gotta be getting close to the boss room too. We got four speed runes. It's like the game wanted me to do maybe not a maybe not a fusion run, but it's kind of hinting at it. Oh, there's there's the uh, there's the earth rune I was begging for. There's some health. Okay, gotta worry about there's one one speedster. At the very least, uh, all that's all that's left are crawlers, plus one crawlers, admittedly, who have seemingly huge amounts of health. Jeez, he does not want to die. At least our explodo thing does crazy damage. Okay, we get a double combiner, which means we can make a triple, which means we can learn a new spell. Please don't lose divergent catalyst. It's awesome. Okay, rune decks, creatable spells, undiscovered. Let's choose one that involves shock. What do we? Uh, shock, water, earth. No. We need... Ah, shock, air, dark. Shock, air, dark. That was wrong. Whatever. Agony. Uh, it's cooldown. Fairly short. Bullet that applies a stacking debuff for a small fizzle chance and increased cooldown. Not a bad spell. I'm going to try it. Mainly because I don't like Droplet. Uh, it's longer cooldown, but... Let's see. The, oh, the duration is probably the range it goes at. Fizzle, debuff, duration. So yeah, what I'm going to do is first test it, and if it's good, use it. Okay. So it goes that far normally, which is not much farther than Agony. Let's put an air rune into it. Part of it is I don't need air runes right now. Ye oh, wow, that, that that does make quite the difference. Okay. Goodbye. Actually, I'm going to dark rune. I'm going to more or less just use it as a dumping ground, but it actually seems like a pretty useful spell. It does decent damage, shortish cooldown, and... Uh, that fizzle chance is not much, but could help. And mainly, increase cooldown reduction. I don't know. It's just a different spell. We'll use it. And so we've got a couple of boxes, nothing in it. Okay, who are we running into? Bats, rats, coconuts, and hats. Mainly, that's actually completely false. But still, oh, can womp all of them. Let's see if I can take the bandit out. Beautiful, and that gives us a heart. So I'm gonna hold on to it, or not so much hold on to it as just leave it there. And let's just womp the crawlers. Yeah, I I like the catalyst spell. It's got a shortish, short enough cooldown that it's really useful, and more so, it's very effective at taking out enemies. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're gonna go and fight the boss, and then see what happens. It's drop. Ooh. Okay. So again, you know how. I was talking about being uniquely suited for a lot of things. This run is probably the most uniquely suited for taking on Droploid. Because Droploid busts up into a lot of parts. And the nice thing is, not only can we slow them down, but we can hit most of them. I don't think I can hit water dro- uh, no. Okay, we're on to the next phase. I'm just gonna... Yee. It's like a bullet hell shooter. I guess if we had that current-ish spell, 
we'd be even better at taking on Droploid, but we're going to be fine here. Okay. So. We're not dead yet. We're not actually doing terribly either. And we can get the Doctor perk, because the rest of these are worthless. Yeah. Okay. Let's get the Triple Combiner. This extra health. We're a little bit injured, but we've got a couple of runes left over. And at least one more... At least one more room. Surprise! Hey, but you know the best thing about all of this? We're actually going on to Tier 3, which is exactly what I was hoping for. I was going to be a little bit miffed if we didn't actually get the chance to go into Tier 3 this entire set of episodes, because, I don't know, I, I seem to do episodes in groups of 3 or 2 now. Oh. Hey, that's it. So, let's go back. We're full health. Full health going on to Tier 2. That is always, always an encouraging prospect. Let's go back. Not actually that far away either, which is nice. All the way back. Grab the whatever rune, rune it is. And then, I don't know, go wherever. Okay, it's a fire rune and an entropy rune. Grab both of those. So we got a triple. What can I make? Still no light rune, weirdly enough. Oh, undiscovered. What can I make? So I don't think I have any more shock runes. I've used them all up. I do have a lot of fire runes. I can use them. So we could do f uh, fire, air, earth. Tempting. Fire, air, earth. Water. Fire, earth. Uh, the water I almost want to use on catalyst. Fire, water, entropy. You know what? Fire, water, entropy. What's it do? Elemental trident. Holy crap. That's really good. I don't know where it fits on the build, but it's really good. Duration, two seconds. That's a fair amount of reach, too. Okay, so this one, crit multiplier. Uh, the problem with Divergent Catalyst is you can't boost the damage anyway. Uh, why are all of my spells awesome? This is, like, the wrong problem to have. All right, so I'm going to actually put it there. Or, actually, what we're going to do, I've been meaning to do this for, no, 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 no. Oh, freaking, how this game handles cursors and stuff is m maddening. Okay, cast slot. Okay, cast slot one, cast slot two. Where, where are the rest of them? Oh. Well, whatever. Cast out one. Ah. Perfect. Okay. So, what we want... Ah. Here we go. A. Shoot right. Uh, this is a pain in the ass. Okay. So, shoot left. A. Shoot right. B. Cast out one. Left trigger. Cast out two. Right trigger. Cast out three. Left bumper. Cast slot 4, right bumper. There we go. So the thing about this is this makes it so to turn on and off autocast, I actually use the A and B buttons. Left trigger, or le left trigger for as these two. Jeez. Holy crap, that's an amazing spell. Because here's the thing. It doesn't have AoE, but it does do fire and water damage. And both of, the, both of those are boosted by fire runes. And the randomness can be reduced if you get a lot of entropy runes in there. So, see how much damage scaling you get. Ooh, it's plus 6. Or plus 0.6 each, too. Ooh, this is going to be fun. Okay, so, we've got two shoulder buttons that we currently can't... Or, we have one shoulder button that we can use and one that we can't. And eventually that will be filled probably with mindlessness until I find something better. Or probably won't. But, uh, this way... I have quad shot going and actually have control over it. I don't have to reach anywhere to use any of the spells, which is kind of nice. Let's see if I can pick up the heart. The answer is no. Let's go on to the next tier. And what can I do? Fire levels are the uh, defense. I'm going to go with defense. Survivability is more important than uh, damage, even though they do tend to go hand in hand. Anyway, I have so much spread shot. I almost feel like going for double lightning or something like that, but at the same time, 
anything that's in like a general arc in front of me just kind of gets walloped. Okay. Well, either way, uh, as, as far as spells to get rid of, again, it's pretty much just going to be our curse spell. Because as cool as it is, it's not exactly what we need. So anyway, I'll see you guys on the next episode of Runers, where we hopefully will make it past Tier 2 and on to Tier 3. Because that would be really cool. Because that would actually give us a fair shot at taking on the final boss. Not promising anything, though. Just saying.